City officials are looking to clear the air after it approved the 2022 budget. It left the department heads frustrated. We first reported this story earlier this month when millions of dollars apparently had been cut from the budget. CBS 4's Justin Kolar followed up on this latest meeting where those defunded items were approved, but not everybody is happy. I've been on this council for six and a half years, and this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this. Lawrence police officers will have body cameras and tasers after all. The $3.6 million that we were asking to be cut from the budget because there wasn't revenues there to support it was for capital improvement projects and not about defunding public safety. Those items and salaries were all approved at tonight's meeting in the form of vouchers added on to the 2022 budget, all paid for by the American Rescue Plan. That's what those funds are to be used for. That is the intent of them. But Mayor Steve Collier doesn't agree. He plans to veto the newly amended and approved budget. And I think what's most frustrating of all is that we have the money. The confusion, they say, stems from a breakdown in communication between the mayor's office and city council, which led to the cuts in the first place. These, you know, claims that uh, we haven't answered, that we haven't been available, so on, they're just not true. The city council also approved a one-time 5% bonus for all public safety officials tonight, while cutting millions from stormwater resources and capital improvement projects to make up the difference. Their actions tonight are... They, they could be devastating. Council President Lisa Chavis says if there's anything else the department heads need, they can always appropriate. If there are needs of our city, they can come to us and ask for them since they wouldn't clearly articulate what those were and they essentially shut down the budget process. In Lawrence, Justin Kolar, CBS 4 News.